Hey guys, it's the Solo Coffee, and today in Solo is a Monster Analysis video, we're going to be going over Mudster, and I'm going to be telling you guys whether or not he is worth getting out of the new Tails challenge, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so Mudster is an attacker, and his traits are Control Immunity, Torture Immunity, and Area Nightmares, which is actually a pretty good trait. Both his rank 0 and rank 1 are both really good, and his rank 3 is okay. Okay, it could definitely be better, but his rank 1 and 0 are both really good. And then his relics are sword and mask, which are also pretty great relics. And then if we go on down to his uh, pros and cons, he has the highest power stat in the Alpine era, which is amazing. Since, of course, that also means he has the highest power stat in the entire game. So this will be the hardest hitting monster in the whole game currently. And he also has amazing trait, decent relics, access to fear as an attacker, which is really good. He also has access to a dark damaging skill as a earth fire monster. He also has great self support. He has access to four tortures and quicksands, nightmares, curse, and a burn. And then he has great damage output and low cooldowns and stamina costs. So yeah, all those pros are just amazing. He has some really good pros. And then his only two cons are no ways to boost damage output outside of tortures, which is true, but that doesn't really matter. And then most damaging moves and all of his tortures are in AoEs, which is kind of a problem. But he does have some single target moves, but only like two. And yeah, besides that, he has all AoEs, which is really interesting. But I guess if you have just one AoE that should be good, you could just use the fear one right here. But yeah, it is kind of a problem, but it does only have one cooldown, so that's not that big a deal. Now let's go down to his moves and take a deeper look into them. He has a lot of zero cooldown moves, I can already see that, and they're all AoEs, all of his zero cooldowns. He has a also a zero cooldown single target, actually, but it doesn't do anything except damage, so that's not really worth it. But he does have an AoE Curse with zero cooldown, he has an AoE Burn with zero cooldown, and an AoE Quicksands with zero cooldown, which are all pretty great. He also has an AoE Curse and Burn, and that one has two cooldown. And then he also has a Self Heal with Evasion, which is pretty great and then he also has an aoe quicksands and nightmares with a little more damage which is pretty cool and then he has a 60 dark damage with a one cooldown which is pretty great and that also does fear so yeah he has some pretty great moves some really good ones this is definitely going to be a very good monster to use this is the recommended moves that they have right here they of course have the single target fear and then they have the evasion and heal which are both necessary those are both very good moves and then he also has the aoe quicksands and nightmares and the aoe curse and burn which are both pretty great as well so yeah this moveset will be very very good so yeah definitely go and get this monster out of the tails challenge he is a very very good attacker he's probably one of my favorite monsters they've released recently he is just pretty great he's just all around great he's got great trait great relics great moves yeah just great monster overall so go ahead and get mudster let me know down in the comments what you guys think of mudster though if you have any different opinions or anything and yes this is the next one over to like share and subscribe goodbye